So that brings me to the next part of this morning, which is to honor our distinguished alumni for their achievements. You'll have the opportunity during lunch today to meet the recipients of the Teachers College Distinguished Alumni Award along with the recipient of the TC Early Career Award. Uh, but right now, to introduce them, I'd like to invite Marion Bopi, a member of the Awards Committee of our Alumni Council, to the stage to help introduce our distinguished alumni. And now, please help me uh, in congratulating our Distinguished Alumni Award recipients. First, please welcome James Gordon, EDD, 1985. James Gordon is an internationally recognized physical therapy educator and researcher. He's a professor, associate dean, and chair of the Division of Biokinesi whoops, Biokinesiology and Physical Therapy at the University of Southern California. Dr. Gordon is a fellow of the American Physical Therapy Association and has been one of the foremost thinkers in the area of motor learning and its application to persons with neurological conditions. Please welcome David Johnson, EDD, 1966. David Johnson is an emeritus professor of educational psychology at the University of Minnesota where he founded and still serves as co-director of the Cooperative Learning Center and chair of the Cooperative Learning Institute. Through the center, he established a network of school districts that implemented cooperative learning and the cooperative school. For the past 50 years, Dr. Johnson has served as an organizational consultant to schools and businesses throughout the world. Please welcome Kate Parry, EDD, 1986. Kate Parry is a professor in English at Hunter College, where she teaches courses that focus on the history and international spread of English. She spends at least three months a year in Uganda, promoting community libraries and researching the development of literacy practices. She is a co-founder and director of the Kintengesa Community Library, a founder of the Uganda Community Libraries Association, and an executive director of Friends of African Village Libraries in the United States. Please welcome Eric Scheiman, EDD 2009. Eric Scheiman is receiving the Early Career Award today. He is an assistant professor of special education at Dowling College. He is the author of Beyond Equality in the American Classroom, The Case for Inclusive Education, and is currently at work on his second book, which advocates for comprehensive education for individuals with autism spectrum disorders. So please join me in congratulating all these distinguished alumni with a, another round of applause. We also have a very special faculty milestone to recognize this morning. To help me honor this faculty member, I invite to the stage John Allegrante, Professor of Health Education and Associate Vice President for International Affairs. Roger Anderson. Many remarkable people have passed through Teachers College during its 125 year history. But how, of how many could we say TC would not be TC without him or her? We can say that We can say that about you for many reasons, and not only because you've taught here for over a third of those 125 years. Yeah. Yeah. You're cherished as a selfless and inspiring teacher and mentor, with joint appointments as a TC professor of natural sciences and a senior research scientist in biology at Columbia's Lamont Dougherty Earth Observatory. 
you are admired as a scientist of the first rank. Most of all, you are revered and beloved as a quiet but powerful force for institutional good who will do whatever it takes to ensure that TC achieves the very best for its students, its faculty, alumni, and the world. You made your initial mark in the field of botany, probing the environmental factors that support radiolaria, the marine protozoa that provide crucial evidence of how the Earth's climatic and ecological conditions have evolved over geological time spans. For that and other work, the Paleontological Society of Japan awarded you its Medal for Outstanding Research in 1999, just one of the many honors you have received here and abroad. You have since published widely on the application of neurocognitive theory to science learning, conducting studies that employ advanced imaging technologies to examine brain cell function, while at the same time evaluating the effectiveness of in-class teaching methodologies. As you have shared with colleagues, this interest grows out of your own boyhood memories of teachers demanding strict attention to their lectures, even as your natural scientific curiosity impelled you to look out the classroom window at what the wind was doing to the leaves. <laughs> One paper you co-authored, published in Science in October 2009, was the first to confirm that when science teachers participate in a research experience program, academic achievement by their students significantly increases. Another paper you co-authored with then TC student Julie Contino on the impact of web diagrams on students' organization of earth science knowledge was selected by the field's two leading professional organizations as one of the top 10 publications in science education in 2010. Indeed, your insistence on involving students and younger colleagues in your publications and your broader concern for their intellectual and professional development stand as shining examples of what we would hope for from all faculty. As Dr. Contino, now a teacher educator at the American Museum of Natural History, puts it, when Roger is your advisor, he's your lifelong advisor, <laughs> remaining on tap for advice and often passing along key career opportunities. Equally remarkable, is your ability, your capacity to continue absorbing new and different perspectives from younger thinkers. Another recent colleague notes that while your own training is firmly rooted in quantitative science, you have increasingly incorporated an appreciation for the qualitative into your own thinking. You bring that same whatever it takes sensibility to Teachers College itself. In addition to providing the math, science, and technology department with able and steady leadership, for many years you have also stepped in to serve as coordinator for various programs uh, at moments of need. You take on these extra assignments without fanfare, much as you have done in generously supporting TC student scholarships over the years. One faculty colleague offers this high praise. Roger is the glue that unites all our perspectives in the department. We all get along well because we trust him. He's our voice. Roger Anderson, because of your brilliant contributions as a scientist, teacher, and mentor, because of your dedication to advancing the work of Teachers College, but above all, because you embody all that is great and good about TC, we stand as one today in honoring you. you Roger much. Anderson. So what a wonderful and inspiring morning. Um, I hope you take advantage of the rich selection of sessions today and enjoy reconnecting with faculty and fellow alums. Uh, i just checking, how many admitted students, newly admitted students are here this morning? Oh, uh, some up there, good, great. Good, well I certainly hope you were inspired, so uh, 
We'll see you again at orientation in September.